All right. Can you guys hear me now? Man, someone needs to do a scarf tier uh, shirt. New line of Tom Brady shirts. Scarf tier. You guys should start that gimmick. They have to say scarf tier, like snarf. Why, why is this ad playing over and over is what 16-bit says. It will stop. It's just us. It's when he logs back on and then me stopping and starting to read the stream. Okay. Yeah, can 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 we can we get uh, some scarf tier gimmicks going on, guys? I don't know. What okay. Scarf tier. It's the new thing. Tom Brady is now scarf tier. No, I'm wearing the scarf. That's scarf tier. Hood tier is not scarf tier. That's a that's a that's a lie actually. It's a common mistake. Why would I wear a hat? Hat tier? No no no. Scarf tier is trumps all tiers. Okay. So go ahead on over to your seat. And I'll because you can pull up the chat over there if you want. You can do that too. Just careful on this. Okay, so 16-bit. Um, if you could, please send a friend request to the uh, name you see up on uh, on screen, and we will have a uh, we will definitely have a uh, a little online chat. Let me try to connect to your. I can connect wirelessly to your. What's your favorite? Scarf tier, guys. Scarf tier. Well, that's actually funny because it looks a lot like him. What I need to do is I need to... Uh is this going to be a threat on Test Your Mic tomorrow? Tom Brady is scarf tier. You guys can I hear him on the stream? Yeah, uh, not bad, not much, not much. So you got Phil right now. Guys, can you hear him on the stream? Is it, is it loud and clear? Hold on one second. All right, they can't hear him, but that's odd. Can, can you guys hear the sounds on the Xbox though? Sounds on the Xbox. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, you know what? I plan on re 
360 so infrequently. How do I do that? Because if that's the case, I'm just going to put it on speakers, and then we're just going to talk to you on the mics that way. Uh. All right, stream, you got to tell me how to do this. I can hear you. Uh, Rio wants to be friends. I'll, I'll accept Rio also. Rio, I think Rio wants to come in here and, and be... Um, hold on. I think Rio wants to be in, in our little cool party. Good, I want to talk to Rio. Oh yeah, you guys just got... <laughs> the, uh, a, a quick image of, of some hate mail I got from UMK3 right before I stopped playing it. Okay, it's going to be a little delayed. And the reason it's going to be a little delayed... Um, the reason it's going to be a little delayed is because um, the Xbox is a direct input to the stream... The, uh, the the Xbox is a direct input to the stream, actually. Um, and the mic has to go through the audio mixer, so it's a little different. Your mic is now really low. I can barely hear you. Oh, Mr. Bits. Uh. Right, well, the only way for us to the only the only way for us to do this. See, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Yeah, it's it's because I'm holding the mic to my my uh, my mouth. But can they hear 16-bit on the... Yeah, if you want, you can put this on. And but can they hear him on the stream? Yeah. Hang on, I got an idea. All right, guys. Commercial incoming real quick. Let me invite Rio in here, too. Damn it, you're going to invite this troll? Why is this troll getting invited? Well, I'm not a troll. No, Rio, you know. <laughs> okay. Dude, I'm going to torment this kid's life when he gets over That's here. Accurate, Hell no, it's not. Man, inviting this guy. Tom, what do you think about that video you put up on YouTube? What video? You haven't heard yet? No. Lord Baby? Wait, who put that video up? Oh, what you don't realize is Rio actually got beat. He only recorded the matches he won. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I don't care, you know. Lord, baby. You know what's so funny? We actually <laughs> lose, we actually started like a first to ten the other night. And um, you know how I always say if when I'm winning, the camera, something always has to mess up. So we start out going 2-2, two, two, and then he loses like four or five in a row, and the camera dies. <laughs> Of course, those videos. Even I, it even looks like wow. he's challenging you, man. Rio, Rio just blew you up. First to five money match for 50 bucks. Rio, $10 a win. Rio, I am not... Rio, what is wrong with you? Are you denying that we started and... Never mind, man. He put up the Lord Baby videos. What's so funny is, even when he was doing that, he still lost most of those matches. This guy... Who, who was he using? I mean, we can, we can only go by what was on video. I don't even know who he was using. I don't even know who he was. Who was who was he using with the the baby matches? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. I can't even hear Rio. All right, Tom. I want to ask yeah, you guys. The, re the reason as an that I'm the guys. The reason that I'm low Hold coming on. through the. Uh, Hold on one second. 
the, the reason that I'm, I'm low coming through the Xbox microphone is because Bill actually should be wearing the Xbox microphone on his left ear because then it would be closer to me. That's it. So 16-bit, you, you should be able to hear me a little bit better now, right? Okay. Sort of. I mean, I can sort of hear you. Um, yeah. so, uh, so what about these... I mean, I can care less about these videos. I don't care about the damn trolls or whatever. I mean, I don't Something care. Smells. What happened was, whenever Rio would lose that match, he wouldn't record anything, and then if he would win, and he would just record it. So... So you're saying it was actually very close. Huh? You're saying you were going back and forth. Yeah, I don't even remember who he was using. Who is he using? I You're know. saying you can beat him no matter who he plays. I mean, he's good. I mean, some days he's going to beat me. Some days I'm going to beat him if I play Raiden against his... Cabal. But overall, you're saying it doesn't matter who he plays, you'll beat him. I mean, originally, his Cabal was giving me problems. I was still trying to learn the Raiden Cabal matchup. But then I... But once you learn that matchup... I already learned it. I, I'm fine with it now. And we played... Okay. After that, and we were kind of going back and forth. And at the end of the day, we were playing at Rob's again after Winter Brawl. And we were kind of going back and forth. And then he kept insisting on doing a first two, whatever. Yeah, I do. So you're kind of, what you're basically saying here is that he's a fraud. He's what? He's a fraud. No, he's not a fraud. He's a great player. That's basically what you're saying. The video is doctored. It's not the, exactly okay. what's going on, is what I'm saying. What, you're what? saying it's he's, selective uh, recording. he's like Fox News. It's yeah, like it's, Fox News. Yeah, it's selective recording. What I'm saying is, and then... The other day, I didn't want to do any matches at all. I was like, hey, Rio, I don't feel like recording any matches. I don't want to record. I don't want to record. He kept insisting on recording for his channel. So I said, okay, you know what? So first, we started recording some matches where I was just holding forward. And he was just like, wow, look at this guy. This is how I train. He won't play me, yada, yada, yada. So we recorded some of those videos where I'm just like, oh, look at me getting beat. Oh, I'm so bad. But then he was like, no, he doesn't want to play unless we record. So I said, okay, if we do one set of recording." That then you know we won't have to play any do any more recording. He was like, yeah. So he he charged his camera a little bit and he hooked the camera up and we started playing and he won one, I won one, he won one, I won one, and then I won like five straight, four or five straight, and it was like five actually. And then you know he would win one, I would win one. He would, either way, for the first to ten he lost overall. And but of course after like the fifth game the camera cut out. So. You're kind of you're basically saying he's like that Andrew Breitbart of Mortal Kombat. No, what I'm saying is at this point we would it goes pretty good Cabal versus uh, Raiden, and um, the Lord Baby videos were not the accurate footage. It was just he would he would win. So he's like Andrew Breitbart. I don't know who that is. <laughs> he's the fox. He's like the the Republican guy that does selective. Oh, oh okay. No, I thought you meant. I thought you meant there was a, a gamer actually called Andrew Breitbart. No, no. You're saying that it, he didn't record he's, the game. I, I know what you. Won. I know what you're saying. I got yeah. you. I got you. I got you now. Yeah. Andrew Breitbart. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Uh, yeah. That was selective recording. He's slandering you. He's slandering you. Yeah. He's slandering me. He's How sl dare him? I mean, that'd be like, okay, 16-bit, that'd be like this. Imagine we're playing at Devastation. Yeah. And the way things with Dev Devastation would go, you would win like five, and I would win like one or two. Or you'd win like six, and I'd win like one or two. You know? Rio, by the right. way. Rio. But, but Rio. imagine if I won that one or two, and that's when I wanted to record, like me doing the Fatal or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, 16-bit. And I put the videos up. It would look like you lost every game. Yeah. Yeah. By, by, by the way, Rio says. I would challenge you to a money match. R Rio says, keep talking. Wait till he gets here later. Man, Rio, I will bring Dark Rob on here, and he witnessed it. Rio, yes or no, did you or did you not lose five consecutive games, Raiden versus Cabal, when the camera went out? Did you or did you not? I, I think there's a general rule, though. If the camera's out, it doesn't count. It sounds like you guys have to settle it later today. It might be. That might be the general rule. Yeah, I, I think it's, it sounds like this needs to be settled for charity today. I'm I'm fine with that, but... Here's here's the thing, okay? Yeah. Here's the thing. Hold on a second. Here's what here's what's so funny. Only Rio would insist on recording matches and then get angry when what happened in the recorded matches actually comes out when you insisted on recording them to begin with. Like Wait no, a minute, wait no, a minute. Rio hold on. Hold on. Rio has made an accusation here. He says you're instigating. He I says, didn't record he says anything, sixteen bit is instigating. Man. This, I didn't record those matches. This guy, Rio, and put secondly, it in, Rio, put, Rio, yes. Secondly, I have 
admitted that he blew me up on Friday. I I will go on record. Rio blew me up at Devastation on Friday. That's Rio. I have no problem. In Rio, that. yes or no? Did you or did you not when you recorded the baby man? And what happened? Rio was like. I would win a game, then Rio would win a game and do a baby. And I'm just like, but it's still 1-1. One, one. And then I would win a game, who would win a game and do a baby? And he would record. And they're, I'd be like, they're doing I, a Jerry chat in the, uh, I, in the stream. I, I was like, Rio, a win is still a win. I don't care if, I, if you baby me. I, I, Rio was like, no, babies count as more wins. I was like, so are you saying that in a tournament, if somebody beats you 2-1 but you do a babality, they are actually you actually won, even though the score is 2-1. Wait a minute. It was, it was, it was, hold, it was, hold on. Tom, Tom, yeah. hold on. Rio is saying that I did that. I had nothing to do with those matches being recorded. They set up the camera. We played. I happened to win a few, and then they stopped recording. That's not my fault, man. Wait, well, what are you talking I, about? I said on my – he's talking about devastation. What about it? Rio, I don't have anything to do with the SoCal guys. What, what happened? Oh, uh, yeah. ask him if he donated. Ask his uh, 16 bit if he donated. The SoCal guys recorded us playing casuals, and I happened to win. But they didn't record when Rio blew me up. But that, I didn't ask them to do that. Rio, why would you put up those Lord Baby videos and not be like, oh, by the way, I just came from Dark Rob's, and Tom Brady just beat the shit out of me five straight games. 16-bit, did you donate to, the, uh, to, to, to any of the charities? Uh, no, I will. I promise I will. Well, actually, because because here's here's what I want to get tonight. All right, at some point for charity, for some point, uh, at some point for charity, I want to do a 16 bit. When we get somebody else here with Rio and and and, and Brady, maybe we'll do a 16 bit versus somebody here. Right? It is a money match, but a for charity money match. The money is Donated. actually the viewers. The viewers are going to put I, the I money will down. Bet. Actually, I'll tell you what I will do. I will bet on Rio versus Brady. Yeah. Okay, so what they'll, what they'll do is they'll each play for a charity. Yeah. Um, you and then what we'll do is we'll do that. They'll each for, they'll play a first to five for a charity. They'll each pick one but of the only, two charities. But it, only, but it only goes up if I lose to Rio. If I win, the footage must be banned from viewership. Because <laughs> you know how it is, man. Yeah. Well, it'll be on the archive anyway. No, we'll get we'll get rid Everyone of that. Everyone wants to see Rio versus Tom. Every the chat is exploding over this. Yeah, it is. You know, I don't ever talk about casuals. You know, that's what's funny. Like I would like if someone says, "Hey, Bray, you know, like when I played Max at VSM, Cyrax versus Sub Zero, we played about six games, and it was like four two Sub Zero over Cyrax. It was casual, so I don't want to give a fuck. It's not like we were actually trying to kill each other, and it probably won't work out that way if we play serious. It'll probably be game for game. But it's just so funny how people really don't realize. People judge me as a Sub-Zero player, as a cage player. If I would actually use every tool at my disposal based on who my opponent is picking, you would be surprised at just how good I actually am at this game. Like to Watch me versus Katana and be like, damn, blown up. No shit, stupid ass. Fucking blown up. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like watching Cyber Sub-Zero against me and going, damn, blown up. No shit, you know? Yeah, Rio, jump on your microphone, dude. Yo, this guy. Tom. Tom. Yeah. We need to talk about Maxter. If you had not dropped that combo, he was would done. you have beat him? He was, yeah, he was done. It was over. He was done. He Does was that done. mean you're going to beat him? Yes. At MLG, will you beat him? I will be using Sub-Zero on Maxter because if I cannot... I, I, do, I can beat Cyrex with Sub-Zero. I go game for game with every Cyrex player out there. You know, I've done it before with Maxter. And he has no counter pick for Sub-Zero. He's either going to outplay me with Cyrex or not, because not one other character he has is going to beat my Sub Zero. He doesn't have an answer for it. Yo, guys, you should all be tweeting this out. Let the, let everybody on Twitter know and everybody on Tester might know that we have Tom Brady and 16 Bit on stream on an Xbox Live chat right now. I want more viewers. I mean, it's going to come down. You're not, guaranteeing. Can you guarantee a, a win against Max? Dude? No, I cannot, because he's a great player. But I'll say it's going to be Cyrex versus Sub Zero. And if he can't... I want to guarantee. What are you, Skip Bayless? Apparently, guy, <laughs> you, you are now Joe Namath. You really had confidence. You're like, you are now so Joe Namath. Well, he's doing me like Skip Bayless had to do Terrell Suggs. Where he was, where he was like, I want to guarantee right now on the air. <laughs> yeah, this guy's 16 bit. Hey, they got to put us on first take, like a first take version of MK, you know? Being 16 bit. <laughs> yeah. 16 bit's like, like, uh, like, like Skip Bayless over here, man. 
Um, Look, I'm I'm Don King. I'm an instigator. No, That's no, I'm I not going to guarantee anything over another great player um, at all. I don't know what I, happened to your confidence. I have plenty of confidence that I'm going to win final round in MLG, but I'm just you're going to all right, all right. So all right, that's you are going to win final round. I have confidence, but I'm not going to guarantee it because I, I have a lot of. Will respect. you guarantee a top eight placing? Yes. Yes. Will you guarantee top five? Yes. Will you guarantee top three? I don't. There's a lot of good players. I can't guarantee past top five. I can't okay, guarantee okay, so. any any anyone can beat any one of. Any one of the top players can beat another one of the top players on any given day based on the matchup. The system, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's it's a lot. Who yes. outplays who that day? It's, you know, so. I mean, then I, I want to know who the other seven guys are going to be. What does your crystal ball say? I don't have a crystal ball for that. I, I, really, I really don't know. There's a lot of good players there. A lot of good players are going. Will uh, I be in the top eight? I, I believe so. Natus, it's now. All right, it's I like now it. invite. Will slips be in the top eight. Natus, it's now invite only. So well, slips, I, I, slips, I think is. I, it feels weird even saying this. An underrated player in a game. You know, <laughs> it feels weird for me to say that slips an underrated in the same sentence because in so many other games he's not. But in Mortal Kombat, I really think slips is extremely underrated. Um, I agree. It depends on the matchup he draws. Being a Scorpion okay. player is a lot like being a Sub-Zero player, and sometimes you, you find yourself fucked. You know what I mean? I mean yeah, you know, it's going to be nerve-wracking. Yeah, because even if he does not play his opponent, he's still going to have to put his life bar on the line. <laughs> you, know, you know, that's what Scorpion yeah. does. You know, so uh, it all depends. It all depends. You know, honestly, all right. so it's, it, it slips so, very well could be. Okay. I have um, confidence in Slips to make We have, eight. by the way, we have Dark Natives coming Put it into this the way, game. I have a lot of confidence in Slips' ability to be in the top eight. Now, having played in one tournament and one VSM, are you still confident that Raiden is the best character in this game? Am I still confident? No. And I'm even more confident that the person that originally said it is going to run into a lot of problems when they go into competition. What's going on, Dark Danis? I know you can barely hear me, but you should now, be able to hear me through your stream chat. Are you chat. talking about Perfect Legend? No, I am not. Yeah, what's up, guys? I, yeah, I hear you a little bit, Phil. I mean, there's just a lot of things. I think a lot of Raiden players in general, you know, you know, it, it isn't arguable that no one has traveled as much as I have for this game. You know, and That's true. I have played it all That's true. as Sub Zero, not as Raiden. As Sub Zero, True. I can put it all to rest. That hey, when they say Sub Zero beats Katana, I can say, after playing every Katana player, I now have a strategy to make it more winnable. But at the end of the day, we all know she does it easier than he does. So on paper, it's more winnable. On paper, it's a lifely thing. But you know. sixteen bit, do you have a Twitter? Yes, I do. Shout it out so everybody can follow you. All right. I'll plug this shit. There you go. Plug that shit. Boy. Shout it out. Let me, let's hear it. Let everybody hear it. Why is Rio not in this chat? <clears throat> All right. If Raiden is not number one, who is? I don't know. I don't know that okay. there is a definitive number just, one. Just want to say thank you to Maddox218. I would, I would say smoke. He I, just, uh, smoke that feels number one in the game. Maddox smoke? just donated to, uh, to yeah, our, smoke. No. our diabetes fund. No. No. And why not? Why not? Because smoke is a turtler that loses to turtling. There's no way. All right, I just I, tweeted this out. I think, I, I think CD Jr. would think otherwise. Myself and CD Jr. played a first to five one time, and he beat me 5-4, sub-zero versus smoke. If he would have played another one, I'm positive it could have been a 5-5. Five five. There is no fucking way a character that's number one goes even with Sub-Zero. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. No. No. Because, because that means to go, to go even with a character like Sub-Zero, that would mean that there is a weakness for Sub-Zero to exploit. You know what I mean? No. 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 Zero. No. It's not smoke. It's not smoke. I don't think there is. Could it be Raiden? Could you say Raiden is higher than Smoke? I mean, I don't have the experience in every particular match like a Raiden player does. Where I might say, I think Reptile's a hard time for 
not even a hard, I don't mean reptile. When I say I think Jax is a hard time for, uh, well, no, I, I would say I know for a fact Jax is a hard time for Raiden. But let's say a match I don't know with Raiden yet. Let's see, who have I never played Raiden against? I have never played Raiden against um, Scarlet. Ready? Scarlet. So, hypothetically speaking, let's say that I play Raiden against Scarlet. We're, and I don't think it's a hard match for Raiden. But let's say I did, and I felt that it was a hard match for Raiden. But there might be a Raiden player out there who has way more experience in that match than me and say, no, it's not. You know, There are matches that I can definitively say are hard for Raiden, and I can say why they're hard for Raiden. But there are some matches where it could just be hard based on my lack of experience. So it's hard for me to say he's better or worse than other characters. I just know what his problems are, and I don't really know what characters fully exploit that. You see what I'm saying? Or, and don't exploit it. I just realized, looking at myself on the stream... Uh -huh. uh, As of right now, who do you feel is, is Raiden's weakness? I kind of look like the sun. <laughs> this guy felt... Yeah, that's true. Raiden's weakness. Raiden's weakness would be characters that force him to move. In other words, you look at a character like Katana. Even when I was playing... By the way, when I played Crazy Dominican, it should have been 4-4. I dropped the combo. That was an input bug. It's, so I consider that 4-4 because the game cheated me. Ladies and gentlemen, perfect legend in the stream chat. Yeah, PL's in the chat. PL, if you have, does, does PL have Xbox? Yeah. He does? Well, yeah. perfect legend, if you want, um, send me a friend request. You see my screen name on there, um, and you are welcome to join the stream chat. Like, uh, for example, when you're talking about, like, you know, like a character like Katana, you know, I played Crazy Dominican. Without the input bug, it would have been 4-4, because back 3-1-2, and I come in, and I went to do a dash shocker, and I got a neutral 2. Now, if I would have missed the input on the shocker, I would have got a forward two or a down two while I'm going to down forward two. There's no way you go to do down forward two and you get standing two. You understand what I'm saying? You would get down or forward. Um, so it input bugged me out. But it was a close game. It was going game for game, me versus Crazy Dominic. It was only a few games, but Raiden versus Katana were feeling because Raiden can move optionally. You know what I mean? When you're fighting certain characters, Raiden is forced to move, and when he moves, he's at disadvantage after he moves. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of difficult in some ways. Jack. Wow. What happened? <laughs> Zach just gave me a great idea. Later on, maybe we can do some. Uh, if if perfect hey, legend. Joe, if you hear me? Why don't you make a dummy account with another headset so you can have yourself join in the chat also? So I I, I do better. I do have a dummy account actually. I'll log on with it in a second. Let me let me set that up. Yeah, okay. I mean uh, honestly, uh, Raiden does have he does have these matches that are hard for him that I think he does. Raiden does lose matches. There's no such thing as a character that loses no matchups in this game. There is no such thing. That is that is true. That is true. There is absolutely no such thing. So, like Reptile, I would use Kung Lao. I've I've been successful against Reptile with all the time with Kung Lao, and at this point, that's what I would use. Now at this point, I don't need to to go over any more matchups. I know exactly who I'm going to use, and now I'm I'm counterpicking everybody. That's what I do. You know, I guess people can still yeah, call me a sub-zero. Yeah, that's gotten to now. You got to counterpick everybody now. People, people can still call me a sub-zero main because I guess for most of the matches in the game, I use sub-zero. But you know, a katana, katana, Sindel, um, Cabal, even a Quan Chi, I prefer to use Raiden. Um, an Ermac, I prefer to use Raiden on those five characters. You know, and then if I go against Kung Lao. Uh, or Kent, uh, against Kung Lao, I'd use Johnny Cage. Against Melina, I'd use Cage. Against Sonya, I would use Cage. Um, you know, if I were to fight, like, uh, Kenshi, I would use Kung Lao. You know, there are matches where I would use Kung Lao as well. It, you know, no matter who I would use against Scorpion, if I were to play Slips, I would go on and do it. I would go do the epic fight of Scorpion versus Sub-Zero. Will you do that at final round? I will do it final round. Just for the, even if it's not until we'll do it on the stream. Either way, we'll get it done. Scorpion That's what I'm versus. That's We're, we're going to stream casuals. Scorpion on versus Sub Zero. We will do it. MK1 costumes. Yeah, MK1 costumes, and I guarantee you, Slips will be like Sub Zero is bad, maybe in his opinion, but Tom Brady Sub Zero is great. <laughs> Sub Zero is not as bad as people <laughs> think he is. I, I, that tier list, I trolled Sub-Zero really hard. I had him losing, like, everyone, like, 7-3. Obviously, that's not true. I even had him losing to Kano. Obviously, that's not true. <laughs> you know, but, um, uh, the problem with Sub-Zero is that the, if you look at the new match chart I posted, I had Truth post for me, he does really well in all these matches. It's just the top characters that you find in the top eight, the common characters, are the ones he gets blown up by. Like, bad. You know? I, I know Denzel Terry is like, oh, you know, uh, 
uh, Sub Zero goes even with Kung Lao, and he's like, I go even with you know these Kung Lao players out here, and I'm going, dude. I'm talking about versus the best Kung Lao in the world, Perfect Legend, versus the best Sub Zero in the world, myself. And you're talking about you're going to show me what you're doing against those boom mics? That you, no offense to these Kung Lao players, man. I mean, I don't mean to insult them, but dude, they're not on PL's level. <laughs> but they're not on PL's level. I don't mean to insult. It's insulting to me. It's insulting to me as a friend of him to tell me that some other Kung Lao is on par with Perfect Legends Kung Lao. Get the fuck out of here. You know, I don't want to hear that bullshit. And you know what? I'll say this. PL is the best Kung Lao in the world. And you know who the second best Kung Lao is? Me. And Wait I'm a minute. What, whoa, whoa. What about Classy Sasquatch? He doesn't even play anymore. Classy, doesn't, right. classy doesn't care about this. Wait, game. wait a minute. What about Forever, Forever King? It could be Forever King. He hasn't Are traveled. you calling out Forever King? No, he's a great Kung Lao. I'm not saying Are he's Are you guaranteeing not. that you'd beat Forever King? No. <laughs> Damn, dude, he's going to be at MLG. I don't know that I would beat Forever King. It sounded like you were saying you were a better Kung Lao than Forever King. I don't know if I am. He's a great Kung Lao player. I'm just saying I've traveled more. I've done, I've done more with Kung Lao. Besides Perfect Legend, he can't join. Besides, myself and Perfect Legend have done the most major-wise and major tournaments with Kung Lao. Put it that way, is what oh, I should say. Sucks. The most accomplished Kung Lao's in the main. Forever King could very okay. well. I mean, he hasn't traveled yet. He's very. I want to say this. Forever King, I personally feel people don't give him the respect that he probably deserves because Forever King is mainly known as, known as an. I guess people look at him still like he's an online player. He's young, so he's, yeah. only, he's only traveled to like console combat and whatnot. Um, well, so they're, 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 I understand that he will be an MLG. Yeah, I mean, That's he's, be he's a really good player, and people don't really understand that because I think they still look at him like. Well, he's just some online player that travels in. in, in Sound, in, I can't in, hear shit. How about now? Uh, no, you're probably hearing me now, right? Yeah, I hear you now. Oh, okay. Damn it. I'm still ranting and I can't hear him. No, no, no. Can you hear me now? Hold on. Can you hear me now, Mr. 16? Phil, you gotta, Phil, make a yeah. brand new account and they'll give you a free month of gold. Okay, making a brand so new account. So, so check this out. So basically... Forever King, people, I guess a lot of people don't realize how good he is because he hasn't traveled to majors yet. Uh, he hasn't been able to, but he's a really good player, and um, he's definitely... I agree. Um, so, but, okay, I'll, Forever King, but... Hey, either, hey uh, yeah. Tom, Yeah. are you ready for Scarfed here? Yeah. We got cookies here. Wow, unbelievable. Hold on, hold on, hold on, before you take any. Yeah, before I, you take any, I am a chocolate chip cookie... 16-bit, do you like chocolate chip cookies? Of course I do. 16 bit I want to This is directly from my wife just now. 16 bit I have well, at VSM on 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 wow, Thursday. Wow, look at that. At VSM on Thursday I said to Phil, I said now I want the good shit cookie wise. I said now, don't give me none of this <laughs> walnuts and raisins shit and chocolate chip cookies because I, Yeah, none of that. You That's wouldn't bullshit. dare give Santa Claus chocolate chip cookies with these walnuts and raisins, right? Are you wouldn't dare. These are Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookies. You wouldn't dare. So I said I want what you would give Santa Claus. That's what I said. So now I'm going to give this the test. Fantastic. I know. Awesome. Awesome. These are great cookies. Try one of the sugar ones with peanut butter chip. Santa Claus would be happy here. So now I'm going to try a sugar <laughs> cookie with peanut butter chocolate chips. So you got variety here too. We do. We, we treat we treat our guests right oh, this is good. here. I know. This is good. I know that that was her idea. I love me some uh, some. So people say Tom Brady doing his twenty four hour stream. Poor poor Tom. That's what you think. He's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Got cookies. We got scarf tier going on. That's what it is. Will you really be on for twenty four hours? Yep. I, I mean, except for what, what are you gonna do at like two a.m. Well, see that's Throw Rio. That's where little that's where little naps are gonna come in. Well, Rio will I, be here. I'm gonna troll him all night. Yeah, I mean, these guys, when, when Rio gets here, Rio is capable of playing Mortal Kombat for hours upon hours. No, I'm going to torture this kid. You guys are going to see the real-life interactions of myself and Rio. That's going to be hysterical. And how we torment each other constantly. That is going to be hysterical. All I want to do is I just want to put these two microphones down and just let you guys play each other. And I'm going to leave the screen that's up now <laughs> so you guys will get the gameplay and the video of these guys going. Yeah, it's Dark Rob... <laughs> Tell you it's hilarious to watch me and Rio sit there and play. 
Tom, I want to ask you some predictions. Yeah. Who would win these matchups? Okay. And I don't want you to stall, and I don't want to hear that you don't know. I want a straight-up result off the top of your head, okay? Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. Perfect Legend versus CD Jr. Wow. What characters are being played? Raiden versus Smoke. Raiden versus Smoke? Perfect Legend. Damn, interesting. Okay. All right. Crazy Dominican versus Conqueror. Katana Mirror match. <sighs> Katana Mirrors are random, man. You never know one air fan will throw a big wrench in your plans. I can't go a mirror match. That that mirror match is That's too random. To no, I said no Hemin and Hawing. I want an answer. What are they playing to? What's the count? First to three. Fuck, man. Um, <laughs> I give it to crazy. First to three. Um, I'm going to say the experience factor kicks in crazy Dominican. All right, Conqueror but, has not played in a long time. Yeah, anybody's game, though, but crazy to me. What if he comes with secret tech? Then maybe if he does, that'll be great. You, you I know, love Conqueror. I, you know, right. I, I, I might have to... Um, I, I, I'm Grandpa gonna, I'm gonna interject here versus for, Rio. I'm, I'm going to interject here for one second and also yeah. say, and this is, not VS, this is not VSM bias here, yeah. um, but basically... Um, I, I, all I do is watch this game. Yeah. And the two most prevalent styles I see are Crazy Dominican style and 16 bits style, which are, they're different. But Conqueror is kind of in between. Yes, but I think that those two players revolutionized the character and they're two different, two distinct styles. Well, I don't know. I've never seen anyone chuck Infant Air fans like Mr. Molina. That man is perfect <laughs> Infant Air fan. A lot of, a lot of, up back quarter circle forwards have been practiced in the Mr. Molina house. I will tell you that right That's now. That's true. He yeah. is definitely the best. Player. Okay, what was the match now you said? You gave me a match. Foxy it was Foxy Grandpa, Grandpa and Rio. Versus Rio. What's the characters? Cabal versus Sonia. Rio. Can Foxy overcome that? No, he cannot. And I will say this right now. Foxy Grandpa. No Johnny Cage will ever beat my Sub-Zero. I don't care what you do to those Sub-Zeros out there in Europe. I don't care which one of the people that, that play Sub-Zero on the boards. They're not me, brother. You ain't winning that matchup. Damn. Not, not at this level. Not at this Damn. level, What if he, if he comes to Evo, then will you call him out? I'm going to say this. There's a reason they left me off Team USA. Because one plays Cyber Sub-Zero, one plays um, Johnny Cage, the other plays uh, Cyrax. I might... Sub-Zero could throw a big wrench in that plan. Especially All if right. the rule, especially if now mustard doesn't even. I don't want to say resets because no. I, I, I just gotta say. I just gotta say, Tom, you are staring down those chocolate chip cookies. I am. Like like you are staring down Maxter I in a Raiden versus. I can't. In, in, a, in a Cyrax versus Sub Zero. So <laughs> he's yo. He's staring them down. Wow. These okay. So like no, what I mean is um, like against those guys, like uh. Sub Zero could throw a real wrench in that plan. You know what I mean? I mean, so especially now again, Mustard does not use the reset. So there is a rumor, but there is a hot fix. Uh, you know, people have said Paul have yeah. tweeted. I don't know what's really being changed in his hot fix. And we see all kind of rumors going about balances and patches. And I could, I don't really know what the fuck they're gonna do. But hypothetically, even if they were to do something with Cyrex, it obviously wouldn't affect Mustard because he doesn't use the resets as it is. They say that's true. So, so but uh. I don't know. I, I think I, I say Foxy Grandpa left me off for that very reason. Maddox just called right, you, you, you Maddox just called you EMP Cookie Ketchup Monster. Ketchup and mustard versus Forty and Sow in a two on two. Characters. Uh, Sow plays Cage. Morty is Sonya versus the robots. It depends. <laughs> It depends. Uh, Sal, I know, does not... Well, he knows the game... Yo, I, gotta, I just got to say this. You yeah. know that on the other end right now, that 16-bit is actually recording this and saving it for the next Combat, uh, combat Tomb it. episode? Uh, so, so listen to this. Uh, Sal, I know Sal... Well, he does have knowledge about the game. I do, he doesn't... 
he doesn't play like that. You know what I mean? He doesn't put the time in. At least not at, at a certain point he didn't. Um, it would yeah, depend. I, apparently he has been lately playing with more. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I'm not sure exactly how much he's been training. I, at that point, it just wasn't important enough for him right. you know, to really put the time into the game. So he really didn't get any practice in it at all. Um, Salmon Morty versus K. You know what? I, I'm going Salmon Morty, man. All right. You're repping America? Repping America. Red, white, and blue soil, right. brother. I agree, man. What if the match was the losing team had to lose a twin? I think that'd be pretty hype. <laughs> I think whoever I think whoever won would go to prison afterwards for taking the other twin. <laughs> well, they, they would sign a contract saying that they agree to it. So what happens to the twin? The twin goes back to Europe, or the other twin stays here in America? The losing twin gets thrown into a pit. To a pit? Yeah, it's <laughs> Well, it depends because that wouldn't be fair. The losing twins. Well, that wouldn't. That's the not losing fair. twin has to come into a small room like this with me after I've had my castle. This is not fair because hold on, if thrown into a pit, I might take a pit in America over freedom in England, brother. I don't know, man. You know, <laughs> I don't know. So that's not very fair. I'm just, of course, I'm just joking about our English compatriots over there. You know, obviously, no need to get salty over the Revolutionary War. You know, I'm just. <laughs> I mean, Just let's face them. it. They would have. They got a, They would have been taken over by the Nazis if it wasn't for us. Of course. They owe us. Of course they are. Of course they would have. Right. Dude, dude, did you hear? By the way, not change. Howard Stern. Dude, the funniest thing in the world in my entire life. I remember I was I was just talking with Dark Rob about Howard Stern last night, and my funniest episode of Howard Stern was when they were talking about the World War II, and there was some guy from France that from a French broadcasting station that was over to observe Howard Stern. I, I just got word that Scoot McGee would like to stop by later on, too. Oh, Scoot, come on by, brother. So, so Howard Stern had about enough of this guy talking on the radio. So Howard Stern told him that the French are a bunch of pussies over there, and they laid down and got rolled over by the Nazis until we came over and saved him, and just started ripping on this guy. And I'm just going, holy shit, this guy's trashing an entire nation, right? Of course, it's Howard Stern, so who cares, I guess. I guess Howard Stern's bigger than France, you know. So in a way, I'm just doing like a little bit of Howard Stern talk toward, you know, our English friends over there. But in reality, everything is great over in England, you know. Just to clarify everything, I don't really, I'm just joking about the fall in the pit. It is now 11 a.m. We are now three hours, three full hours. Three hours. Into a 24-hour stream. These cookies have no chance of surviving. None at all. You are going all to... All right, next match. Next you're, match. You are, are you going ready? to fatality, those cookies. This yeah. is another mirror match. Yeah. Dizzy versus Maxter. Johnny Cage mirror. Dizzy. All right, I like it. Good. You know, you know what's so funny? I want to say a lot of people have been like... When I went out to Chicago, they were talking about when I played Dizzy Sub-Zero versus Johnny Cage. <laughs> And I'm like, dude, the match is so fucking bad. I don't, I, I don't care. That's a really bad match in this patch. I, I, that's, that's bad, 16. I, I, I gotta, I gotta say, Terry Masters is coming up with some great ones. Uh -huh. Every time you look at a, uh, at a cookie, you pick it up and go, this fight shall be your last. Right. Yeah, I do. I do. do that. <laughs> Dizzy is a great player. Um, Johnny Cage gets caught in some of the most fucked up matches, and Dizzy still finds ways to fight through them. Isn't uh, it ridiculous? We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have gameplay later on, guys. It, it is. It we're is. gonna have gameplay soon. That Don't worry. Dedication. Now I'll say this: Katana is way more winnable than Sub Zero is, because while Katana is throwing yeah, combos yeah. on the screen, Sub Zero is placing a combo on the screen that stays there. You know, it's tough. It's tough for Johnny. Dizzy is a great player. I'll take Johnny Dizzy in a Johnny Cage mirror any day of the week. He plays a Cabal player all the time. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'll like I said, I'll take Dizzy. To me, Dizzy is the Johnny Cage version of my Sub Zero. He is the character at the highest level in all matches. Damn. All right, Tom. I don't know why I ever disagreed with you about anything. <laughs> it's because I was, you know, I I didn't want to believe that Sub Zero was fucking what he is because they nerfed him. So for me, I've never played a game before. To be all honestly, I'm an old gamer. I have never played a game before where you're actually right and then you end up being wrong when you were right initially. You know what I'm saying? It was, I don't know, yeah. man. It's, I've never... Oh, so it's weird. So, next question. I have, All right. I, I have the next one sprinkled will be, here. I got to think about this. All right. Um, 
Let me think of a marquee matchup. Not marquee some... matchup. Rio, my, my uh, wife will be making level, cookies though. all marquee day long. Matchup. And brownies. This is another mirror. Okay. The Dan versus Shujinky Dink. Who? Oh, the, the Dan versus Shujinky Dink. <sighs> I'm going to go Shujinky Dink. I, he's really good. Red, you got to be serious. Listen. I told you, I have high standards for cookies. True. He's saying, I'm, I'm, I'm all serious deciding which cookie I want. You got it. When you're looking at this, you got to think about it. It's tough. This is tough because the choices are confusing because they're all good. You can't, there's no bad choice in, in the dish. That's the problem. It sounds like Metzos is very angry with you, Tom. Why is Metzos angry with me? Because every, every choice you pick America, he's mad. Well, it's it's it's... It's tough. Like, okay, well, if you were to say who would win, Foxy Grandpa, and then give me like a Molina or a Sonya player, I might I'll pick Foxy Grandpa because Johnny Cage. I believe Johnny, you know, Foxy Grandpa is at the highest. Here's the thing. This is tough to say because um, I know Dizzy. I've played Dizzy, um, and like I said, I don't I don't base anything off me playing. I would never be like, oh yeah, I played Dizzy in the Sub Zero cage match. Yeah, Dizzy. No, was, what the fuck is you know? It's like me being a Sub Zero player, you know, and you going, yeah, I played Tom Brady Sub Zero versus Katana, and I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Of course, fucking I lost, you know. I mean, so it's no different. I don't judge, but I've seen Dizzy play. I've played Dizzy with other characters, and I can speak personally and say I know Dizzy is the goods. Foxy Grandpa, I know he's good. But I don't know how good. You know what I'm saying? So in a yeah. situation where I have to choose a cage, I'm going to go with Dizzy. They're asking on stream how you would do against Eli Manning. How I do against Eli Manning? In what? In eating Oreo cookies? <laughs> I win. <laughs> I win. Metzos is oh. calling you out in the stream chat. Yeah, what, what is he saying? Out, what is Metzos saying? He's saying he'd beat you 5-0. You beat me 5-0, oh. Metzos? That, he's saying at Evo, he wants you 5-0. Metso, you're not going to... Man, you guys... Do not kidding. He didn't say that. Okay. I was going to say, dude, don't, don't be... No, if you, I'll play him at Evo. Dude, I'm looking forward to playing all these um, guys. I know they're, this thing. They're all good. You know, they're all good over there. I understand they're all good. You know, so, I mean, it's... But, I mean, it's... I, it's disrespectful for me to the top players we have here that I've played, you know, and you said, no, I don't, I've given you several I don't knows, but the rule was I had to make a decision. So, you know. So. Well, I mean, that's the, I want this to be as awkward as possible and for you to get into as much trouble as possible. Of course, that's of the course. the point of this game. <laughs> of course. Right. You know there's going to be a threat about this. Of course there oh, is. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> PL wants to know if you can call in. Um, not really, because, um, the, the Skype... Xbox? Yeah, I'm on Xbox. He yeah. has Xbox. Yeah, if he, if he logs onto his Xbox and adds me as a friend, then he's more than welcome to come into the chat. I want to say this. Where is this coming from with the Raiden versus Smoke thing with PL versus CD Jr.? I, I, I just don't think... Myself and PL have broken down the Smoke match so well. Raid Knights, I just don't PL think... PL doesn't have a mic... I guess he wants to call in with telepathy. I don't know. Smoke I, signals. I just don't think that... Raiden signals. He don't have a mic on Xbox Live. I just okay. don't think... I don't know where this is coming from, that smoke is going to beat PL's Raiden. There's no smoke in the world that's going to do that. Or is Kung Lao. And by the way, again, I'm going to say this, man. Denzel Terry. I think he's a great player. PL will 10-0 his Sub-Zero. Okay, okay, actually, he's, he's got a decent idea would here. You, what um, if you played Kung Lao? If I were to play Kung Lao against Denzel Terry Sub-Zero? Yeah. I will 10-0 his Sub-Zero with Kung Lao. You can, are you promising 10-0? He wouldn't win a single game. No. All right, so... Can you explain the jail setups? Here's what I, okay, here's what I mean by jail 16-bit. Um, it, it's... If subs, first of all, by jail I just mean there's a jump and kick is blocked and Sub Zero is jailed. I mean he can crouch block it. Yes, the instant teleport three he can crouch block it. But Kung Lao but is still not, at zero. He could not 
down. He cannot down four under it. No, not if he blocks a jump okay. kick to teleport. Tom, okay. do me a favor. Text PL my phone number. Uh huh. Because I, I have a uh, an iPhone and it's uh, got a really good speaker. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll put him on speaker and I'll put my microphone right by. Uh, Okay, uh, Rio, sent, Rio sent me a message. Okay, so basically, well, here's what I'm explaining with Sub Zero versus. When I say Kung Lao versus Sub Zero, I don't mean that you can't react to it. Obviously, you can react to his fucking teleport. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, this guy. <laughs> this guy. You see what this guy does, right? He, he selects his own matches to record. Man, if I were to do that to Rio, yo, he'd have a fit. <laughs> So, so, um, so he, just text PL my number, okay. and then PL, you can call me. I have an iPhone, which has a really good speaker. And what I'll do is um, I'll put uh, my, my microphone down by the, by the um, okay, so cell phone. Okay, so real quick, with Sub-Zero versus Kung Lao, and we'll get PL on here in a second, and he'll also go into this further. It's not that I can't react to the teleport. It's that I have to expect it to counter it. If I do it on re if I don't expect it and try to react to it, I will not be able to get under it to counter it. You see what I'm saying? That's the problem. Yeah. Because Sub Zero's hitbox is too high. So if I'm expecting PL to teleport and he doesn't, but at the same time you have to expect to teleport. So PL is sitting there, when he gets in, one two, you know, one one, one one, one one two, jump over punch, one one, and I'm waiting for him to teleport and he's throwing me and chipping me. PL will get X ray three times around if I play him. See what I'm saying? Because Yeah. Uh Scorpion, we we saw the yeah, same yeah. thing at Frosty Fastings. Yeah. Like he had those setups where it, you could not punish the teleport easily. Like, yeah, um, I understand what you're talking about. Yeah, he has setups where if I try to react to it, I'm dead. But what am I gonna yes. do? Block Kung Lao all day? This guy PL will have like two X-rays a round on me. You see what I'm saying? I and yeah. being a Kung Lao player who plays for X-ray, I already know what that means. You know what I'm saying? Kung Lao has too right. much mobility. I can't clone trap him. Down four is not going to be enough against Kung Lao. And when I say a mix-up between jump in or teleport, because I have to commit. I'm either going to stop the jump in or the teleport. If I guess teleport, he's going to get the jump in and pressure me every single time. If I guess jump in, he's going to teleport and I have to block the teleport and then go into the pressure. You see what I'm saying? That's why. You, and if I, re if I react to it, in other words, I did not expect the teleport, but I react to it. Well, yes, I can try to react to it, if I do like a down four half of the time, his land, while landing three is going to blow up my down four, which I showed in the video at Dark Rob. And if I try to uppercut, it will always blow up my uppercut. So the few times I land a down four is negated by the one time I eat the combo into 50%. I agree with you. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So at that point, there's absolutely no way... Sub Zero is going to beat Kung Lao, let alone a Kung Lao on Perfect Legends level, who I believe is the best Kung Lao in the world. And I will, I will say there's absolutely no way that Denzel Terry. And here's the funny thing about Denzel Terry, I just want to go, well, what's the Liu Kang matchup, Denzel? Because you didn't look like you knew what the the hell you were doing there either. You know, I mean, all FCC compliant on us now. Yeah, let's be serious here. Let's be serious right now. No offense to Denzel Terry, but if you know if I were to comment about I was going to be, if that was me on stage in top eight that was against PL, and that happened to me, the way that lost. And can we not agree that was a demoralizing beating? Okay. As a matter of fact, the only, no offense to Michelangelo, but the, the only match faster that, in MK history is me versus Michelangelo, you know, at Summer Jam, which is where he used Kenji in a match, and I don't think he realized that was a handicap match for Kung Lao. Um, so... If that was me, if I would lost to PL like that, and then I later said, "Oh yeah, you know, Sub Zero will beat P will go even with PL's Kung Lao." Um, nah. What? Oh, oh no, no, no. Um, and and I, and I would just, and I would just say people would just say, "But Tom, what are you talking about? Didn't you get blown up using a different character who does better in that match?" You know, so. You see what I'm saying? I mean, and Denzel is sitting there going, oh, you know, it goes even, and I'll show you against my Kung Lao players here, and not one person will say something like, Denzel, how are you going to say you're going to go even in this match when the last time you were in this match, you looked a little bit overwhelmed? And oh, there's well, no... Hold on, hold on, yes, hold on. Metzos, wait, I have wait. Golden Axe. In his defense, playing on the Evo stage... Is 
It's are you there, sixteen bit? I think we dropped him. By the way, while I'm on a stream, I want to give okay. a quick shout out to my family over there in Somerset, New Jersey, who is sitting there watching me uh, on this stream right now. So I'll give a shout out to them. Um, and uh, so shout out everybody. And of course, everybody. yeah, give a shout out to all of them. They uh, support me in you know doing this and. Um, not the easiest thing to say, you know, to be like, hey, uh, guess what? I'm going to be on stream doing video game stuff. You know, most people would just <laughs> say, no, you're not. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they've been very supportive of me doing this. And, you know, it's it's good to have, you know, uh, a, a good family structure that actually supports you in what you're doing. So uh, shout out to all those guys. And uh, thanks for watching. I love you guys over there. Um, so they're all watching and. So, um, in that particular match, like I was saying, there's no way it's, you know, you have to understand just until you fight PLs Kung Lao, there's absolutely no way you can understand what you're going to be dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's not like, and I thought is an insult when, they, when he says we have Kung Lao's here. That's why I said, are you insinuating that any Kung Lao out there could possibly be even close to, den to, to PL's level? Here we got PL on speakerphone now. Here we go. Yeah. How is this speed? Is this loud enough, Phil? Hold on. Hold on. I got this. So I got PL on speakerphone. Can you say something, Carl? Yeah, on speakerphone. Man, what the hell? The stream is so like behind. Oh my god. That's that, that's because the um the stream it's it's because the Xbox is direct into the feed. And the microphones are going through an audio mixer. Can you guys hear? Can you guys hear PL guys? Say something. Say something. I cannot. Say something. Uh, yeah, I can barely hear him. I mean, I'm just saying that the stream itself is behind. Yeah, the stream itself is pretty behind. Yeah, uh, you won't be able to hear him on the Xbox. Well, 16 right, guys, you gotta understand that's just the way it works with the stream. Yeah. The stream has a certain buffer that. Um, right. So it's always gonna be a little bit behind. When we're speaking here, when you hear it out on the stream, it's going to be almost 30 seconds to oh. 45 seconds later. Get behind us, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, when I called him, I'm like, what the hell? He's not answering his phone yet. And he answers his phone. I look at the stream. I'm like, what the heck? But well, anyway, um, I guess whatever questions or whatever. <laughs> well, what's going to have to happen is uh, you're going to, Steve, you're going to have to ask, um, if you want to ask PL a question, you're going to have to ask him. Through Bill, and yeah, then Bill I will ask him. Okay. By the way, uh, PL. I can see the I can see the chat. So like. Okay. By the way, PL, you you do agree that I mean we've gone over the matches against Smoke all the time, and we already know what's a big weakness for Smoke in general. Smoke loses uh, any character that can out turtle him. Has a better offense than he does. Yeah, or can stay away from him, can get the lead and stay away from him, and a character like Raiden, Raiden just has, Raiden gets the life lead a little too easy in that particular match. And it's gonna it's smoke. He can, you know, he can Superman the smoke bomb. Uh, smoke's wake up attacks. I can teleport the smoke bomb. There's so much stuff I can do. Like, I can do whatever I want. That's how I feel when I fight smoke. By the way, I just let me inter interject here real quick. Yeah. Um, Perfect Legend. I'm not sure. I, obviously, you know about this stream and that it's a a benefit stream for three different uh, charities. Um, so I'm, I've been asking a lot of different yeah. people. Yeah. I've been asking people this as well. Yeah, I thought I was donating. Like, I, I guess you see a chat, I thought I was going to donate. Oh, no, I appreciate that very much, though. So. Um, do you, um, hopefully you don't, but do you have anybody in your family that any of these three things affect? Wait, what, which, which, uh, Well, no, like, uh, diabetes, for example, like, we're talking, like, my aunt, actually, uh, she is a diabetic, she has diabetes, so, and Phil, his mother, uh... Yeah, my mom passed away from complications of diabetes and from, uh, multiple sclerosis. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I just, I want people, and, and also, Juggernaut, his father, um, he's suffering from cancer. No, I'm saying, like, what charity, you said, okay, it's for, I'm oh, saying, okay. what charities are The for. three charities are for the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. Correct. Um, uh -huh. The American Diabetes Association. Uh -huh. And the American Cancer Society. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because my, my grandmother died from cancer, so did my, uh, my uncle. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. No, um, um, I mean. You know, okay. unfortunately, all three of these diseases affect a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, it's, it's tough that how there's, like, really no... Um, well, like, they actually found a, a cure for cancer, 
but it's not public. Someone in Canada found it, but no one is going public about it. But it, it was, it, what's funny is that the cure for cancer is actually like some kind of over-the-counter drug. It's like a mixture of a few over-the-counter drugs. They're not saying what it is. Wow. If that's true, then that's messed up. Well, yeah. uh, that'd be no different than people saying there's a cure for AIDS that Magic Johnson got that no that no one else seems to have because there's there's that. There supposedly a vaccine right now, <laughs> but they're still testing it. But they have to use people who don't have it, and they have to risk like getting it to make sure it works. Because they, they have to test on people who don't have it and test on people who have it. It's kind of messed up because you're like thrown in the fifty fifty. Oh, I could contract AIDS and be you know AIDS for my entire life, or this could work, and you know. But you just donate yourself to science. I, I know I'm not willing to do that, but I commend anyone who's Carl, willing to do that for the greater good. Carl, would you be willing to play an Xbox Live match for charity? I have a uh, yeah. Red, Red Rum. Red Rum, if you notice in the stream, just said that he will donate. Um, oh, did we drop him? No, go ahead. All right. Red Rum just said that he will donate $100. Um, if you'll play an Xbox Live match against Rio when he gets here. Yeah, you will. Yeah. Any you want. Right, Just for charity. Alright, well, I, like, I'm gonna go to sleep soon, but I don't know what time. Well, we're, we're gonna be at this for 24 hours. And when Rio gets here, he's gonna be here until the stream ends. Okay. Plenty of time, man. Plenty so of time. If, Plenty of time. If we can, and, and it doesn't have to be a long series. It could be best two out of three, first to five, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Um, it's all for charity. So, you know, it's not like the games actually mean anything. It's just for charity, for fun, to give the people who are coming and donating something to watch. Yeah. Um, That's fine. That'd be great. I really appreciate that. So, you got it, guys. Here we go. So, later on... Uh, when Rio gets here, we're going to have, you know, you guys will set up what you want to do, whether it's a first to two, first to three, whatever, I don't care. But, uh, first to ten, first to ten. That's up to them. First to ten. That's gonna, the we first to one billion trillion no, on like the largest number ever. <laughs> well, that's what we're going to have. We'll have Perfect Legend online playing against Rio in Mortal Kombat 9 um, for charity. And oh, we're going to to fight my free game, my Baraka. There we go. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. I was waiting for this moment. Yeah, he says it right there. I've been waiting for this moment. Um, now, Red, Red Rum, just be aware, I'm holding you to that $100. There's three charities. Split it up. Give it to all three. Now, I will also say this, by the way. What is the deal with this talk that Baraka beats Sub-Zero? What the hell is that about? <laughs> if Johnny Cage doesn't beat Sub-Zero... How the hell does Baraka, when Baraka is just a much worse Johnny Cage? I think Fire beats Sub Zero. Fire? Yeah, Fire. Fire beats a lot of people. <laughs> that man was in a sauna, you, it'd be big trouble in World China. If he was in a sauna, it would be big trouble. Sub Zero in a sauna. That'd be a good one. <laughs> Do episodes Sub Zero in the sauna? Like the, sub, the Scorpion Get Over Here episode? Dude, dude, instead of like the, the freaking cold mist, dude, he'd be sweating. Yeah. So 16-bit, do you have any questions? Uh, can you hear me? I can I can hear you, but do you have any questions for Perfect you. Legend? Ask Perfect Legend, if he plays CD Jr.'s Jax, which character will he use? 16-bit says, if you play CD Jr.'s Jax, which character will you use? But before you answer, I'll tell you which character you should use. And this character is one of the only characters that has a first and a last name in Mortal Kombat. So oh, that, wow. okay. that, that's why I would say he should use. Who will you use? Uh, well, I think I'd use the or. Okay, so who are you going to use? It, it depends on how I feel at the time. Well, 16 bit wants to know exactly which character would you use? Or would well, it I don't know. Like, it depends on how I feel at the time. Okay, well, what, right now, what are the choices he wants to know? Like, what are your two, which, which two would you waffle back and forth for? Which two would you choose from? I'll pick Jax. Jax against Jax? What? Why not? Oh, she's Johnny Cage. <laughs> <laughs> Need that bitch now. <laughs> Tom's like, I didn't expect that answer. No, uh, Jax against Jax. Oh, All right, I have another question. 
I'll wow. forget to because like you no, know, I'm just saying. Balls, I, I was su- I, I was surprised at the answer. I was thinking Johnny Cage, <laughs> or okay, next question, sixteen. But you got another question for him? Which player from the UK would PL want to fight? Which player from the UK would you want to play most? Um, I don't know, because, like, all of them are whatever. So he doesn't know. All like, right, next I, I know question. I about ketchup and mustard and all the condiments over there. And he knows about grandpa. the condiments, ketchup and mustard. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, I don't, I'm, when, when I see science or sector or, like, I'm just like, I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not certain about those characters in this game. Like, it was pretty fast, I'm like, shit, fuck, I'm coming and grabbing and dying. Yeah, I mean, but as a subject, it doesn't matter to me whoever it is. I don't really, I'm not a bit, Cyrex is, you know, it is what it is wow. for me, even. James MK just logged on. Wow, this guy, James Fink. So, uh, okay, next question, 16-bit. He says he's not sure. Um, he knows about the condiments over there. Um, let's not forget the Ask- face of all of Europe, Foxy Grandpa. I got to tease him about yes. that. <laughs> People just automatically associate Foxy Grandpa with Europe. You know, I'm like, oh, yeah, Europe? You mean Foxy Grandpa? <laughs> so I just invited Pedro. All right. I just invited Ask James. Ask P.L. Into, yeah. uh, into the chat. Okay, next question, 16-bit. What did P.L. think about C.D. Jr. versus Detroit? Um, he wants to know, what did you think about C.D. Jr. versus Detroit, besides the fact that C.D. Jr. got blown up every time he tried to down punch a crossover jump in? No, I'm joking. He's, he wants to know what you thought about that particular uh, series, though. Of um, well, he was the only person I've seen that actually didn't show that they were afraid of C.D. Jr. Because, like, no respect to him, I think he's a good player. So, but I feel like most people he plays against have too much respect for him, so he, they allows him to do more than what he should be doing. Well, Jax commands a lot of respect, too, though, man. Jax is... I, I understand that, but Jax doesn't command a lot of respect in mid-screen where he doesn't do that much damage unless he this, would like to be here. If um, you want to see Jax go backwards, pick Johnny Cage. That's all, yeah. Then you'll see him go backwards. By the way, do you know... I don't know. You have good fighting age fun, though. He's not that overwhelming, in my opinion. Jax? Yeah. Do, do you guys, by the way, do you notice the size of my avatar on Xbox Live? Yes. It, it, it is appropriate for me. I mean, as playing Johnny Cage, I... Jack- I saw you playing with Johnny Cage. You, like, honestly, Bill, like, you probably shouldn't play Raiden unless you get to a certain level where you're comfortable on the ground. Because right now, you're not comfortable with doing levels or playing football. You're like, with, with Cage, you're okay. Because you're like, well, I have an unstoppable move, so you have to either respect it and rock it or just get hit by it. With Raiden, you can't feel like that because well, you I don't have the experience with Raiden. Like I'm, I'm, I'm very good with Raiden against Cabal, uh, Katana. Matches where Raiden naturally can play like Raiden. You know what I'm saying? Raiden where no Raiden, Raiden versus everyone. You just have to play. You have to. You have to play like you have nothing with the Raiden, and then all of a sudden you have something. That's how Raiden is. Yeah, but I mean, I, I do fine against Katana, against Cabal, against. Um, Sindel, you know. Yeah, all right. In my opinion, like, no disrespect, but wait, I saw you playing CD. Katana, I was like, there's no way it should have been going back and forth. Ray was Katana. Is well, I've also only been playing him for two weeks. So, and that's my first time actually playing Crazy yeah, but Mason. like, you, you fought my Ray, I don't know how long you saw me play 16 bit D. You just X copy what I was doing. Like, I don't know why you're doing 3, 3, 4, EX, 5, well, that's like the worst shit ever. I'll, t- I'll like, explain to you why. Like actually, I'll, I'll, actually, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked that. I'll explain why I do 3, 3, 4, EX, 5, ball. Because... Like, I saw you do that in tournament and in casual, so I'm like, why are you doing this? Because you were getting uppercut at every time. Like, me, personally, I would duck it and then just bust you in the face with the 50% combo. I'm like, that shit's not that good. Well, you actually so can't. You screen, actually can't. It can be good, but, like, not up close in the string. Actually, using strings like that is not even that good. You really can't punish it with a 50% combo. It's like 5-5. As long as you don't do strings, it's just be 4-4. It's fine. You actually can't do a 50% combo uh, if you duck the vicinity best because the second one's coming through. You can't combo me at all. You can uppercut me. But even if you uppercut me, it's still a free Superman wake-up attack. So either way, I still get the trade and the knockdown. All you can do is down poke me with a down one. There's nothing you can do, though. You're a disadvantage. 
Yeah, that's true. Uh, but why do you do it? Because a lot of times, after three, three, four, oh, rather, dude, it's a gimmick. Why do you? Why do you always like resort to finding gimmicks to use instead of playing solid? You have to play solid. Well, here's the thing. I would agree 100% if what I if the vicinity if if the EX Fireball Trap wasn't catching everybody at that tournament. I was if only you're going to use meter for something. Use it for EX Superman. But I'm just saying. My point is, it was I effective. Do like naked Superman and just get hit by a projectile. I'm like, what are you doing? But I just saw people were falling for it, so I used it because no, it worked. You already had like the wave on the screen, and you would try to Superman through it without meter, and I'm like, what? Are you doing? Like, I don't understand. Dude, you are smarter than you're playing. I don't know what the hell is going on with you. I mean, it it worked. It worked. It was working. Um, I don't. I mean, I only use. I mean, I don't know. I think oh, Raiden. Ver Raiden versus. Here's my thing. Raiden. I'll say this right now. Raiden. I man. It's. I don't know. I I, I don't have any fear of Raiden whatsoever. And I I see a lo I see a lot of his flaws, um, so I don't know. Well, Katana, I mean, Crazy Dominican. I don't know. He he stays on the ground a lot. He doesn't give me many options for teleporting and that kind of stuff with air. Yeah, I wish I wish Katana would stay on the ground versus me. Shit. It's, that's like me saying I wish a Raiden player would try to do and hit any buttons. Like, I mean, I, I I mean it's very no, difficult. Like Seriously, if you try to rush me down with Pope, that's the wrong thing to do. What's well, not even like, so much? All right, first off, even if I wasn't ready, I'm the worst person to try to go punch for punch with. I mean, Raiden... So, when I'm playing a character like Raiden that you really can't go punch for punch with, there is no way. I just thought of playing the character. You're going game for game. I understand it, but I'm just... I, like. Jop was telling me they were trying to tell you how to use the character, and you're, you're like shrugging them off, like, I want to do it my way. You have to play the, the game and the character the way it was designed. Um, my, you can't go against the rules of the game. I, I mean, I'm Raiden, I, I was just playing him in casuals, like just a casual, just a few games. I mean, I, I've, you know, I'm still new to the character. This was me to for come here to get more experience using the character in matches like that. Um, See, you were in Texas playing. Like, I, I, I don't get it, man. I played Raiden for a week and a half. Do you know why I practice this game? I sit in practice mode, and I fight computer on expert. That is how I practice. That's true. But, again, if you were to play Sub-Zero for two weeks, you would look just the way I did playing Raiden for two weeks, even if you played in practice mode. I mean, the same... Uh, no. You'd have some of the same problems, you know, so... So you're not gonna you're not gonna play Sub Zero for two weeks and then go beat a Kenshi player. There's abs no. That you, what you're telling me is I'm not gonna play a character and loot and beat someone eight two match. That's ridiculous. No, well, it's not eight two, but I mean, what the hell are you doing, Phil? What, what are you? You just you just like yeah, Carl. You can't play the character and play. No, what I'm saying is that I mean I'm still I'm still getting experience. I'm very comfortable raiding. Thing you said to me today. I'm very comfortable raiding versus Katana. Um, well, you, well, yeah, I know you're comfortable with it, but you're still playing it wrong. I'm just trying to help you, and so you play your match better, dude. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm still learning the match. I guess. Sixteen bit. Any more questions? Well, he's definitely still in the chat. Sixteen bit, you with us? Sixteen bit. Yes. Yes. Any more questions, brother? All right. Ask Perfect Legend, who is the best katana player in the world? Perfect Legend, 16-bit wants to know who yeah. is the best katana player in the world. Um. You have no choice. You can't say Crazy Dominican. You already have. You already. You, you can't say that at this point. No, I, I thought about it at first, and I, don't know, I think 16-bit is the safest katana player. Like, and 16-bit. I mean, I can't. He says you are 16 bit. Well, I, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Like, all right, I just, like, see, he's a good player, but I don't like the way he uses Katana because I don't think it's an optimal way to use there. I've seen Mr. Molina and 16 bit player. Yeah, sorry, this is laggy. What did he Mr. say? Molina has beaten 16 bit in tournaments, so I will have to say Mr. Molina. He says you are Mr. Again, Molina. Mr. Molina. But still, like, in the tournament that they were in, Mr. Molina plays higher. 
He says you are Mr. or Mr. Molina, and he also says uh, it's true. Hold on a minute now. Devastation is unfair to judge by a mirror match when, in fairness, Mr. Molina had already lost three times by the time he played 16-bit. In point, fairness. Tom. Good I'm, point. This is added, no disrespect to no Mr. Molina really because wrong. obviously 16-bit will say, you know, Mr. Molina did outplay him, and Mr. Molina played very, uh, very high level in the top eight, and he, he did play well, and he's a great player. But in fairness, to play one mirror right, match. Right, I'll, no, I'll ask this. Like, logically, okay, 16-bit is won a major, and he's the most consistent play and katana player in the world. Okay, so he says 16-bit. He said he didn't like... All the logic behind why. Because you've won a major, and you are the most consistent placing katana player out there. In reality, crazy to me, I mean, it probably does as well, but... It's hard to argue with the EVO champion. I was just, the, the, it also, is. the big difference is that... Um, and I realize that that was kind of a troll question to yeah. half a degree. Yeah. But I, how dare you, sir? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 16-bit troll? Never! <laughs> <sighs> the only time you didn't troll, dude, when, was, when, was when Salty Sal walked in front of your match at ECT. You looked like you were going to rip his head off. Seriously. That was definitely the angriest I've ever been. Yo, no <laughs> joke. I, I, I thought you were going to knock him over and give him a Roman War helmet. So, 16-bit, I mean, Peel did say that notable that Crazy Dominican is also a very good katana, but he, I don't know, I guess he doesn't. He's pretty he, good. He thinks he plays katana a little not the way katana, sh I don't know. But he's just saying his logic is you have won a major, which you have, and you have consistently placed very high with Katana, uh, you know, on all three parts of the country. So That's true. It, it's hard to argue with that logic. I mean, it's like when people after Devastation and Seasons Beatings, they were like, oh, is Tom Brady really a top eight player? He, I was like, where am I not? The West Coast, top eight, which I should have been top five at Devastation. You and I both agreed. That was BS. You know, I was winner's top four. How else can you... And, uh, by the way, I, I, don't, I don't like how Devastation was ran, and I also don't like how... Rio and everyone else has not been paid yet. That yeah, I've heard that they anything. have not been paid yet. Is this true, 16-bit? You have not been paid? That is true. That wow. is true. None of us have been paid. No one has been paid. Wow. wow. By the way... I'm From what I've heard, Justin Wong has not been paid. I'm watching the stream chat, and of course now, of course now, Rio is up early and ready to come yeah, somewhere early. Yeah, now he's ready to go. <laughs> he's, he's out of his portal now. Okay, any more questions, 16-bit? Um, let me think. Actually, I want to say something. All right, now. all right. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I, okay, want to, yeah. I want to clear the water, clear the water here. Because it was brought to my attention that uh, PL has said that the reason why he didn't play again and put the belt up is because uh, he feels like if somebody were... Well, this is because, well, it was, it was, this is the word on the street. That you particularly said that you felt that because if somebody were to win, that they could just take the belt and do the same thing and then, you know... You know, so why would you put it up as well when they could do the same thing after that? Now, here's my question to you. My question to you is, um, isn't it more of a situation of when the belt was given to you, you didn't really under you didn't really get the belt with an understanding that you would have to put it up like a real belt, right? It was more like a trophy, correct? Yeah, when it was given to me, it was more like a trophy, and no one felt I had to do anything. And also, I'm not forced to do anything. No one was paying me to do anything. No one had me sign anything, so I had to do anything. So it's a trophy, and it's going to stay in my house. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, you guys can make, you know, those belts that you give out. Tell me those are cool stuff as trophies. I mean, I think it's great. But I'm like, I'm not about to put this on line. I want evolution. And if NRS wants to give out another belt, they can give out that second belt that they had at NRS. So. And is it, is it, is, is it not true that you were not trying to hold it up? That you legitimately, at that point in your mind, decided that you didn't, you weren't going to play anymore, correct? Yeah, legitimately, I was like, well, I'm not going to play anymore. You're not going to play anymore, so you were like... like and, and also, I'm tired of people giving me crap for not playing a season of beans when 
I never said I was going to play season meetings. And the only reason I was there was to drive you there because you had no other way to get to the Yeah, tournament. I was staying, I was staying there out. for that weekend. Yeah. I would have not been there if Bill did not need a way to get there. That's true. It was already predetermined through tri- it was already Triforce. We had it because we were going to go to the thing in Chicago two weeks after that. So basically Triforce said, okay, you, you go there. You and Carl, you'll stay there. Carl will take you to season's meetings. And we had this all organized through uh, Empire. And uh, that otherwise, he wouldn't have even gone. So. I mean, ultimately, what that bo- what that boils down to is is that you know, a lot of people have chosen to leave MK9, whether it's their own personal decision, you know, and that you know, a- a- you can't hold anyone. I mean, Dark Natus, who was in this chat with us, doesn't want to play MK9, MK9 anymore. Um, but you can't hold one person to um, to a different standard than another. If it's okay for one person to drop the game, it's okay for every person to drop the game. If it's okay for every... My birds are going nuts. Um, actually, those are... <laughs> some of them are my mom's birds, which I inherited when uh, when she passed away. Anyway, um, you know, you, you can't expect... it. You know, you, you can't hold um, people to different standards. If it's okay for one person to drop the game, it's okay for the other person to drop the game. Um, if it's okay for everybody to play the game, it's okay for everybody else to play the game. Right. So, um, you know, where we get this notion that, I, and I understand, you know, you want to see somebody who wins to defend their title, but where we get this notion that he had to continue playing the game because he won, look, he's his own man, he makes his own decisions, and I respect that, and I respect what he did, and there's a lot of people who don't play MK9 I mean, anymore. Like, yeah, it's like saying, what if somebody were to win and say, okay, you know what, this was fun, I'm starting up school next month, or whatever, I mean, how is that any different? I mean, some people decide that they want to do something else, and so be it, you know, you can't be like, no, you can't do that, you better show up here, and it's like, dude, I don't, you're basically telling somebody, Dude, I hope you got a, a grand in your pocket right now because I expect you to take that thousand dollars that you are going to use for bills and other stuff, and buy this plane ticket, pay for this hotel or whatever, you know. And I say somebody like, let me get this straight. You want me to spend how much of my money to go to this event simply so you can try to take this belt? You already had a chance, you know. That's basically. Guys, if you're wondering why I'm so low, it's because we only have two microphones and um. We only have one microphone to use on Xbox Live right now, so... Um, they said they can barely hear me through the mic. We have the mic right next to the phone. Yeah, the mic is pretty loud. When you speak, I hear it very loud. 16-bit. Any other questions, yes. sir? What was, what was your other question? Yes, I, I have a question for you, Tom. Okay. If VSM ducks on final round, would it be fair to call them merely regional champions? I'll handle that one. I will handle that one. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I'm going to handle that one. Because okay. I'm one of the co-founders of VSM. I don't know who Steve is. I only know 16. All right, 16-bit. I'm one of the co-founders of VSM. Um, yes. were, were you, did you know that? Yes, I did know that. Okay. Um, Now, I have said this, and I've said this publicly, and I've written it before, and I'm going to say it again. Okay? Um, It is, and a lot of people are going to get upset with me for this, but I don't care, and this is not a VSM bias. This has nothing to do with that. Um, The Northeast players, be they, whether they are VSM or not, um, the Northeast players are fortunate enough to have access to six majors. I mean, that is uh, uh, that, uh, easy access to six majors, mm-hmm. okay? Three of them in Philadelphia, one of them in, in, uh, one of them in, in Ohio, Ohio, Apex, and then if they want to take the 15-hour ride down to final round, there's your sixth one. <coughs> Not to mention... Not to mention that they also, and this is every Northeast player, not to mention that they also have access to a second season's beatings that's being held in May now. So, really, the Northeast players have access to seven majors, of which I believe four of them provide Evo points. Maybe even five of them. Okay? It is not their fault 
that nobody I else, agree. it is not their fault that nobody else in the United States has a, that much access, that, 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 that easy, that, that, well, that, easy. that much easy access to Evo points. And you can't hold them accountable for having to go to every I'm single sure major every single to earn Now, hang on. This is where I would like to say something. And that, but, but remember what I said. This is not just VSM. Yeah. This is Northeast. Uh, people, too much, uh, people put too much, um, uh, I guess, uh, weight on the Evo. Oh, uh, you cut off. I can't hear you now. Yeah, you just cut off there, Phil. Well, actually, that, that, was, uh, that was perfect legend. Okay, you're back. You're back on. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, my, my headset's going to die in a minute anyway, so I'm going to have to switch to the standard ghetto Xbox headset in a little bit. But um, basically, it, it's not the fault of the Northeast players. And as I said, that's all Northeast players, not just the VSM players. Um, you know, you, you could theoretically, when you say VSM, are they regional champions? Well, you know, maybe, but maybe not. I mean, we've had guys go. Well, guys we've, we've, no, here's no, my case. The last time the West Coast came there, you were soundly defeated. And the last time, the last time the East Coast went to a West Coast, Rio dominated. So we're one for one. But, but your star player was on record that that was too long ago to count. Uh, you talking about CD Jr.? Yes, he posted. He posted that that was too long ago. Okay, I listen. He speaks for he speaks. All right. I'm not saying that VSM members themselves don't speak on behalf of VSM, but when it comes down and, to wait, hold on, hold on, I, I have to reply to Rio in the chat. You guys are on record that Evo was too long ago, so you cannot mention Evo. I mean, you guys have consistently I'm, I'm said that Evo, Evo was too long ago. I'm not talking about Evo. I'm talking about Devastation. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about Rio in the chat now. Right. Uh, you know, no, I, I, you can't say that. You, you're, because when you take into account championships, okay, and I'm going to put Yankee fans... Uh, you know, I, I don't like the Yankees, but I'm going to put Yankee fans out there and say, well, every time you talk to a Yankee fan, what do they say? Oh, I got 20-something rings, 20-something rings. twenty. So the first championship that they won doesn't count? Of course it does. Of course it does. So we just got done saying and listening to Perfect Legend say that, um, say that hey, I just want, you know, I won Evo. Well, if Perfect Legend's win at Evo counts, so does Rio's win at Devastation. You I agree. That's Rio is an that is excellent player, and that was an excellent win. That is, I that, agree. You know, that is sound logic, and, you know, you, you can't, you know, that is clean sound logic. So you can't discredit or disqualify Rio's win at Devastation just the same way I agree. that you can't discredit or disqualify um, Detroit Bowen's win at, um, at NEC. You, either, one, either way, you can't disqual disqualify either one. So... Right now, it's West Coast 1 or Midwest 1, whatever you want to say, um, East Coast 1. We're one for one. Um, is, um, you know, is, this is on the East Coast, yes, but it's also, it's, it's really South East Coast. Um, it is a 15-hour drive, three-hour flight, and I know that a lot of people from the Midwest and the West Coast have to travel in order to get to a, a tournament like this. But on the other hand, to be fair, that's not an East Coast player's problem. They have access to as many as seven majors, of which four to five of them provide a chance to win Evo points. They are not obligated to go to every single one of them, especially when the majority <coughs> of them just spent three to five hundred dollars two weeks ago. I agree, but so if VSM I would say now the answer I have is this. The answer I have is this. Um. If VSM themselves, if they don't show, and from what I understand, they are trying to get a, a, a caravan going down there. <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to come to fruition or not, but what I will say is this, is if VSM doesn't show, then the, 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 the likely reason is for the exact same reason I can't go, which is because I just spent $500 to go to Winter Brawl, and 
I mean, that's five hundred dollars. Think about it. I'm a, I, you know, I'm I'm a grown man with a full time job, and I can't afford to go. The majority of these uh, of these players are kids, some of which whom don't have a job. How do you expect them to pay for that? You can't hold. I don't. But you this can't is, hold them to that. This is what I do expect. What I do expect is if they cannot make it because they're going to go to MLG, that is rational, that makes perfect sense, that's understandable, but there will be no talk that final round doesn't count. There will be no talk that it was basically a local. Whoever wins final round gets big, big props. Oh, I, I, None of that, we weren't there, so it doesn't count. I, I, listen, listen, I can agree with you there. Um, I can agree with you there. However... However, on the same note, there can't be any talk of, um, you know, or if a Midwest player or a West Coast player comes out and wins, um, let's say you or Detroit win, um, there can't be, oh, well, we're better than VSM or we're better than the Northeast. Because if the Northeast doesn't show, then, again, it's not that it doesn't count. It's still null and void. It's, we're not better than the, the Northeast, and the Northeast isn't better than us. We're still one and one. Because the two of the the two of the two regions haven't met more than twice, so that it really only catter it really only counts when the two regions meet. It's not to say that final round will or won't count. Of course, it'll count. It's a major. What you think your win you, you, sixteen bit? All right, let, let me say something about like all these tournaments count as majors. Like the, I don't know why every single tournament now. It seems like I could hold a tournament in my backyard and it could be considered a major. It's ridiculous because like, after Street Fighter 4 came out, all these tournaments were like, oh, this is a major, this is a major. And all these tournaments are not major. There's only like a couple tournaments that are seen as majors. For example, Final Round was only seen as a national tournament. And, and, and national, I'm talking about major. Like everything else, like no disrespect to anyone, but like the West Coast War Zones and the NECs and whatever else, like what the Midwest Championship, these are not few. They're they're regional regional they're 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 they are regional majors. They're regional majors. I agree with Carl on that one. Right, all right. So, so what Carl is saying is that these are, basically he's saying that these are regional majors, but that final round is actually a national what tournament. Is there's a reason why yes. the NECs will have 80 for Mortal Kombat, but then you'll see winner bro I mean, you'll see final round have between 150 and 200, and the difference is because... Because, like, final round has been seen for years as, like, the tournament that not leads up to Evo, it does leave up to Evo, but it's like the, I guess, the thing in the middle that's supposed to be, I guess, not on the scale as Evo, but it's like the American. So, well, all right, what Carl is basically what Carl is basically saying is that it's a. Um, what Perfect Legend is basically saying is that this is kind of like mini Evo for Mortal Kombat. Yes, this is a big deal. No, not for Mortal Kombat, for games in general. All right, for games that's in general. Like, it just it doesn't time. have international. Well, yeah, so, so, has, so, so, has so has Evo. I mean, not Evo. Um, so has NEC. NEC is, is you know, 12 years old. Have many times have come to final round for multiple games. Street Fighter, Tekken, um, this year for Soul Calibur. Oh. You know, it's, 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 it's been yeah. a renowned major for, world, oh. for worldwide competition. Whereas NEC Fair is enough. associated with worldwide. Fair enough. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm back, my bad. No problem. Um, no, well, what I was saying, Carl, what I said is that, uh, is that basically that NEC is also 12 years old, and, you know, and, 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 and Bill is right, um, that, uh, that NEC doesn't draw the international players the way, uh, Final Round does, um... Well, Final Round actually just started drawing international players with Tokyo coming last year. Right. right. And Nin and Ni, were there, don't forget that. That's one Japanese player. Yeah. Right, yeah, they only had one Japan. Yeah, they only had a, one or a couple last year. Yeah, it wasn't but, a lot. Yeah, but then you have, you have also have, you, have, you know, Nin uh, was there for Tekken, and this year, um, uh, international. Yeah, Nin and Nin were there for Tekken, yeah. So it's had, it's had international competition for basically every game, you know, in its history. Like, back when I, okay, when I was, like, you know, breaking through the team, for a major to be a major, it had to have one or a couple of a certain amount of things. Like, you either had to have. One numbers two, the level of competition. Three, you know, guaranteed payout stuff like that, and then like international comp. Well, and you can't just like you know call any major major because, for example, like in DOA, you had like people having like seven man tournaments, and they'd be like, "This is a major," and we're like, "No." No, no, you know, Carl, I, I definitely agree with you there. I mean, like for instance, I look, I was there. I ran MK9 at Apex, 
And no disrespect to the Apex guys, but it was there, it was a 32 man tournament, and I, it, you know it it, it, it it was a it was a it was a glorified local. Um, it really was. It was a glorified local in terms of MK. In terms of MK9, it, um, it really wasn't a major. But I mean, in terms of Evo points, which is what I'm talking primarily what I'm using to define what a major is right now, especially. It was an Evo qualifier. Right, it was an Evo qualifier. Right, it was an Evo qualifier, an Evo but qualifier not a major. Does not necessarily mean a major. It's a qualifier. True. So. Um, yeah, like I mean, I remember back when they first started doing like Evo point type qualifiers, like Evo East and Evo West. Like it still, it wasn't seen as a major. It was still seen as a regional because it's called Evo West and Evo East. Let me see, my friend. I have a question. I have a question for 16 bit and for both Perfect Legend. Who do you guys consider to be the most Underrated player in America in Mortal Kombat 9. Um, probably Slips. Okay, who do you oh, say? Hell yeah. Slips? You guys say? Yeah, Slips for sure. And myself. Okay, no, that's like me saying myself too, I guess. Can I name three? <laughs> yeah, all three of us are the most underrated players in the country. <laughs> Okay, next question. The but, most wait, overrated. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a name to that. Ryu forty eight. Underrated? Yeah, I can see that. Overrated. Most overrated player in America. Oh well, you know, you are about to get trolled. You are about to get trolled <laughs> in the stream chat, you know it. How is that po I'm playing sub zero. How is that overrating? <laughs> Did I work miracles? I should be walking on water. I'm using a fish for a character in half of these tournaments, man. <laughs> A fish. Hey man, of course, immediately it's Rio. Rio. It's Rio. Damn. <laughs> Rio might get some trolling right now too. Damn. Exposed. Exposed. Wow. The most overrated player in the world. Who is it? Oh yeah. Oh, that's the question. Yeah. Um. Oh. Sixteen bit in the world. Most overrated player. Who would you say? Can you hear us or no? We might be off. Can you, you hear me? It's yeah. No, we, I can't hear anything. Can you hear me, 16-bit? Can you hear me? Now? I don't know. Hold on. Oh, are we off? I can't hear anything? anything. Hold on. Hold on, 16-bit. I don't. Know, I don't read the forums or like keep up on news or stuff. Hold on. Let's have 16-bit. Hold on one second. Like whenever I look at the forums, it's for frame damage and stuff. Okay. I have another. I have a standard headset. All uh, right, give me the head. Hold on, 16 bit. That actually may work better for the two of us. No, I'm putting this damn headset on. Oh, wait, no, we do not have to put it on. We just hold the mic. Forward. Okay, 16 bit. Can you hear now? 16 bit. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah, we we may actually be able to leave this. If you were to say the world. The entire world of all the players we've heard about around the world, who would you say would be the most overrated? Let's it's cutting out again. Okay, if you were to say, I can hear you now. Out of all the players we've heard about in the entire world, who would yes. you say is just the one that you think is the most overrated? Like, you you hear you say, man, I hear about this guy all the time. Is he really as good as advertised? Yo, my bird has a, has a, what, an opinion on that. What player would you say it is worldwide? I got to say, would Ryu have won a major without that hitbox? I don't know. I don't know if it's the hitbox, man. <laughs> it wasn't the hitbox. <laughs> that, Ryu, that, that major is a combination of a lot. It's like saying, would the two Katana players have placed that high without a universal dash nerf three days before? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on now. You know, that's... Um, I mean, he's had some pretty good placings. He's fairly consistent. I would say. Is he really that good, though? Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say so. Hey, so do we have an ETA on Rio? Jimmy, I know you're in the chat, or Rio, I see you in the chat. What's the ETA on you getting here, bro? Because I really, I'm, 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 I'm fiending for some either third strike or... I, I gotta be honest with you here. Okay, titles. okay, let's go predictions right now for final round. Um, 16 okay. bit, your final round predictions. I think I'm going to win. 
Excellent. Who else do you have in the top eight? Oh, let's see. All right. I'll granted Rio, he might place in the top eight, you know, seventh. Tied for seventh. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think Slips will be in there, of course. Slips, great player. Dizzy will be in there, of course. Petey Jr., he's pretty solid. He'll be in there. Tom, I bet you'll be in there. I'll be there. I'll say Pig. Crazy Dominican. We can have two katanas. Yeah. He's a pretty decent katana. And then uh, I'll say Kerbolicious. Kerbolicious. Now, has anyone ever played this guy offline? Has he ever been to an offline tournament before? Has anyone even, does anyone know? Where does Kerbalicious live anyway? Does anyone know where he lives? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Hey, Peel, I'm Mockingbird know? Lane. He's from where? 1313 Mockingbird Lane? <laughs> Lane? This guy. Yeah. Damn, he lives in the Monster's House? 1313 Mockingbird Lane. It'll be a new thread on Test Your Might tomorrow. Kerbalicious' house. So, What's up, oh, I think Kerbalicious will enter the tournament through online. Like, we'll have to play him on the hotel's Wi-Fi. That's terrible. Like. The, stream, the stream's going great, bro. What's up? Oh, man. Kerbalicious. So, um, do you like my top eight predictions? I, I do. I do. I do. I predict me winning the tournament. I predict Tom All Brady. Right, I liked it. I predict people say, Tom, who are you using today? And my answer is, who are you using today? That is my. <laughs> what if we were in the grand finals? I'd, I'd be down with that. Raiden versus Katana. That's what it would be. I think that's the grand finals that everyone wants to see. Raiden, uh, it'll, it'll be Raiden versus Katana. And I predict, even if I win, PL will call me and say I still played it wrong anyway. <laughs> what if I have a secret character, though? I'll see you a little bit. No, I have a secret character. What if I have a secret character to counter your secret character? Then I will counter that secret character. That's how I play, my man. That's how I roll, brother. So you don't understand the Yomi layers going on here. I know who your secret character is because I have sources. So around, I've already known how to counterfeit your secret around character. Around two hours from now, James MK will be here with Rio. It could be a little less than two hours. It could be three hours, but in the range of two hours. James, I hope you're coming by with something here for me, my man. Yeah, I hope you're bringing something by for me. What am I missing? Uh, so, um, Tom. Yeah. Shot for yeah, shot you don't match. understand. No, I'm no playing moonshine. 3D chess here. Yeah, no moonshine. No, don't. No play. moonshine, no, boy. Because I don't want. I don't want you to. I don't want, no, no, I don't no. Want we're not to bringing that. Pull out no. the pink panties. Yeah. So how about, how uh, about being that I'm Irish, being that I'm Irish and you're and, and, and you're Greek, I'll pick up a bottle of Uzo and a bottle of Irish Baileys. Well, I'm, I'm Greek and I'm Greek and Italian actually. So bring some pizza over here too. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> Yeah, guys. Uh, Are we having a pizza actually, party? Let's go Come on. That five guys, man. Is that, is that she's yeah. When she she has my card, she's gonna pick up. She's gonna call me when she gets there. I'm All right, I've got some five guys here. So you guys thought I was the one being tortured by doing a 24-hour stream? You guys, I want to say this is some of the best baking I've ever had. You know, so I agree. I, that, she appreciates that. This this is. There's only four cookies left. But there's more cookies to be Oh, made. don't. They have no chance here. And brownies. They have, the brownies have no. They're already done. The brownies are over before they've been baked. <laughs> so, any more questions for PL 16 bit? Come on, man. You gave me all these hard questions. Give him the, some meat and potatoes <laughs> oh, questions. All right. All right. Who does PL think is the most overrated? Uh, PL 16 bit wants to know who you think is the most overrated player. This guy answering his text on. <laughs> yeah. I, if PL was like a famous athlete, that'd be awesome. He'd be on like Mike and Mike in the morning, and he'd be like, "What the hell? Who the hell's texting me?" Like on the. <laughs> right, dude. You already know my text messages. I don't know, man. I think like I think there are overrated characters and there are players. I agree with that. Me, I don't really look at the player when I play them. I'm more so fight the character. And because I have been probably, I'm going to do whatever I feel like it in the match. That's just how that's I feel. A, that's a good thing that you mm -hmm. said, actually. That you said overrated characters. They're more By overrated. the way, i, I got to put Storms on blast here. Uh huh. This is one of the most epic chats we've ever done. They're real. I think, I, I do think the ball is overrated. And Storms does not have this up on the front page. Not an unbelievable. Storms Let on me the ask you this. Here's a good one. 16-bit. Since PL mentioned about overrated characters, not overrated players. 
Yeah. Out of all the top players, which yeah. which top eight player or, or consistent top eight placers plays the worst character out of all the players that consistently are in the top eight? I would have to say Maxter Cyrax. I mean, that character's garbage without his combo damage. He really needs it. Shut the hell up, 16 man. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do if they only had to rely on 60%? How can they survive with that damage? No, in, I mean, all, I, in all seriousness, out of all the top eight placers, who do you think plays the worst character, and then we'll go with the best? Out of all the, the character-wise, worst and the best character that we see in the top eight consistently? Well, I do have to admit that you know, Rio's character does require very good execution, so I think you could probably make a case for Cabal. As the worst? Yeah, I mean, it's very hard execution. Shut the you really hell up. Are you serious? I'm serious, man. This Cabal is, so is the serious. worst character at the highest possible level I, out of all the top he eight characters. He puts in a lot of work. I mean, Rio's a pretty... I'm not talking about, about the hard, work. Man. I'm talking like, about... I feel like there's most of the people I see fight like Cabal. Look, he they loses Cabal to Jack, man. He's got a couple actually, bad matchups. Like, no one tries... I, I'm not going to give out the strikes that I'm going to be using our fight the character, but I'm just saying I feel like People should be fighting Cabal better. Okay, They're let's go over all the characters really we see in the top eight. What are the, the characters okay. that we consistently see in the top eight? We see Katana. Yeah. We she's see... obviously garbage. I mean, she's about mid-tier. Yeah, so, okay, so she's top. We see uh, Jax with CD Jr., correct? Smoke. He's I think Tony Lau has He's always plus, over, plus been tier. already because in every rendition of the game, there's always been some characters way stupider than him. Kung Lao, I don't think. I don't care anyone says, dude. The day the like, game fucking, came out, there's no yeah, way Kung Lao was a his shit, Like, especially in the pre the pre patch with nothing, where he can grab you and do fifty percent. Come on, man. There's no way. Yeah, well, Cyrex. Um, I don't think Cyrex is over. I think Cyrex. So we see. We look at Cyrex with Maxter. We have Cyrex. Um, Bone does. You know, out there. Um, Newbie is also a good Cyrex. We see Cyrex, Katana. We have Cabal with Rio. Uh... Other top eight characters. Sonya. Sonya. Um, let's see. Top. Kung Lao is, you know, whether it's Forever King or PL when he was playing, we have Kung Lao. Or if I was using Kung Lao, we have Kung Lao in the top but eight. Sonya, that's big you, Kung Lao. I never stopped using In the Northeast, you see a lot of reptiles. Both out of, uh, out of... Reptile. See, reptile is underrated as hell. Reptile is so underrated. Oh, my God. And then we have, um, I'm trying to think. Give me some other character 16-bit. Well, we've got Sub-Zero, but, I mean, he's obviously top five. Shut shit. This guy, 16-bit. All right, I'm going to say it. The worst character we see in the top eight is Sub-Zero. Let's be, let's be honest here, 16-bit. Yeah, Because Wonder Chef, when I did my little tier list, yes, okay, I kind of trolled the Sub-Zero matchup chart. Obviously, he's not in the bottom five. But he is the worst character out of all the characters you see in the top eight. See Molina a lot. Well, hasn't hasn't C D Junior yes. used Shiva in a top eight? No, not hasn't in a major. He used Shiva? No, not in a major. I don't okay, mean a, so this has to be a major? Yeah, I don't mean a VSM. I don't mean like we, a local we, we've Well what about Flodzilla using Noob Cybot? Which major did he place top eight at? SoCal Regionals. Did he? Yeah, yeah he, he got fifth with Chris Noob. Also. That's only one I said consistently in the Chris history of the game. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, fair enough. That's like I mean Ermac could have placed top eight in one major, but you wouldn't say Ermac is. But you're you're basically calling him out. You're basically saying your sub would beat his new. What? <laughs> uh, you're basically saying that you would beat Flodzilla with your sub zero. His when do I say that? You're basically. I mean, when you break down what you're saying, you're what basically. What I'm saying, saying is that no the new sidebot is not a character that you say we see frequently in the top eight. You're essentially challenging him at final round. You're Sub Zero versus Noob. Uh, I don't care. I'll play him Sub Zero versus Noob. It doesn't matter. So I tell you, it'd be a lot better. How many people are you going to call out, Tom? I don't know, man. Calling them all out, I guess. So, so let's. Uh, so, I, I so uh, the common characters in the top eight. I mean, you know, I'll say this. Um, I guess if you're looking at, I well, I do not agree that Kung Lao, the day the game came out, was an overrated character. I will never buy into that. At this point in the game, I think he's he's still really good. But you know, in reality, 
most of the time, the only one that really consistently has put him in like kind of place has been PL. Um, if you think yeah. about, you know, even though Kung Lao, I still think Kung Lao was ridiculous on the day the game came out, but uh, there was a lot of ridiculous stuff. We got to rethink about that. A lot no, of no, I mean, he was like, yeah, man, I'll do well with Smoke versus Kung Lao and Pre-Patch. Yeah, okay. Well, the thing is, also, let's not forget day one. Let's not forget what the stuff that me and PL, who were there day one, were fighting. Block infinites from Cabal. We had to fight that. Bomb trap. Bomb trap by Cyrax. We get grabbed and we're dead. Are you, are you, I mean, like, look at the kind of stuff that we had to fight out there. We can't even get touched. And people are like, oh, man, it was, it was easy to win back then. Back then, it was easy to win. Fighting, remember the up ball? I, do. I just remember, no, I just remember hearing Smoke will beat Kung Lao. Smoke is not beating Kung Lao now. No. He wasn't beating him then, especially not. Oh, no. Not back then, no. For sure. Oh, no. Remember, remember the up ball craze, 16-bit? Remember that when everyone was spamming up balls all the time? I got eliminated. Dude, I remember that. I when, got eliminated. That one time Gino had by this a guy ball, mashing and up I ball. had to fight um, into Dave and Hermit. I was like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, right? And this is what we have to fight. We're going to tournaments fighting bomb traps, block infinites, and up balls. Ridiculous up balls. I spam. agree, man. Up ball was ridiculous. And, how, and this is what we got to fight. Can you? That was ridiculous. Going to tournaments, we're just like, man, you've got to be kidding me. Though this is what we have when to do. When you with. think about that, you used Sub Zero back then. You really are the best if you think about it. Back then, Sub Zero was a lot better hey, than he hey, is now. Hey, Junior, said I wouldn't be here with Day One Lao. That's that's funny. Uh, CD Junior, man. Uh, day no, Day One Lao, no, it's no. You, they have super characters now. They don't know what a super character is. No, they, it's true. Um, so, that's true. So, um, are, are the European guys coming over here for Evo? They're coming over here, right? Like Metzos and... I don't know. Send, send think, all the economy packets over here. Send them all over here. I think ketchup and mustard. I will say this. In Super Bowl is very underrated. One of the most underrated. One of the... Coast. Yes. In Super Bowl. Very true. Yo, he's like, he's a 50 per six, 56 percent with smoke. How are you going to hit me? Like, you have to be better than me to hit me. So, how are you going to hit me? With smoke? Like, there's no way you're going to hit me with smoke. Like, what are you going to do? Like, what, what, what are you going to do? What mix up are you going to do? You're not going to hit me with anything. Like, go watch me versus Eric. You're not going to hit me with any of the smoke nonsense. But we're arguing a moot point because that version is long gone. Yeah. I mean, they could. I'm just saying, like, I, I don't logically see how smoke. Tom, is gonna I have a question for I you. I just don't. Yes. Like, I, I don't like that. There's not Who register in my best brain. I'm Malina like, player? no. <laughs> Who is the best Molina player? Yes. Best Molina player? Rio. How's it? Well, how's that a question? I I don't know. Got to give me an answer. I think real is this the best is player. People don't want to hear. I, people don't donate over. I don't know. If I'm playing Sub Zero, all of them tied. <laughs> tied for the best. No, just just overall, people are not going to donate if you're not even willing to commit. We want to know who is the Molina of the world. You get Pig, that that kid, Death. Who is it? There is no Molina of the world. Dude, people aren't going to donate if there you're is not no, There gonna... is no Molina of the world. What? There has to be a Molina of the world. To be a Molina, here's what I say, Molina of the world, that just means when I say, who do you use against every character, even your worst possible matchups? You say Molina, you don't say, well, I don't play Molina in that match, Tom. I say, then you're not a Molina of the world. You have a Molina player who has no clue how to win your hardest matchups to the point that you don't even want to play. Do them. you think all three... All three are somewhat fraudulent if Death, they won't play her Rio in every matchup. Rio would probably be the one that I would say. Rio, Rio and Death. Pig, Pig is not going to play Molina in every match. Pig is doing That's matchups. That's true. Um, Pig That's does true. matchups. Um, hey, yo, I wonder who we going to pick versus Blind Pig. <laughs> Pig, Pig what about Sonic Pig. Fox, though? He used Molina in every tournament match, didn't he? No, not against CD no, Jr. He used, he used Kung Lao. Oh, okay. Which was, okay. Which was a mistake. So. Okay. Oh, CD Jr. in the uh, chat. 
says, and I guess, you know, death uses Sonya, so maybe you're right. I will accept you're not. I want to say this death. right now. A funny story with me and death. You know, Peg has always denied. You know, there was a big deal when I lost to Peg. That fuck with, with, with Sub-Zero, right? You know, I'm playing Sub-Zero here. So, um, um, and uh, I said, okay, you know, in a first. You need I, to worry about baking it to me first. In, in a first to ten, <laughs> I'm fine versus Nina, like I said. But if I'm playing a first to two. I don't really want to make those retarded Tom Brady risks because I only have two games. You see what I'm saying? So I'm a little hesitant yeah. in that particular match simply because I'm not comfortable in a first to two format with Sub Zero against Molina. Even though I've done it before, I, I, I hate it. So when I played Death, I see I said, Death, who does Molina lose to? And he says he loses to she loses to Ken uh Sonya and Kenshi. So I said, well, how about Johnny Cage? He's like, no, I don't think so. And then we played, and we were doing, we had some good games. And now he's like, oh, she loses to Johnny Cage, Kenji, and Sonya. <laughs> so I think, I would say death, because death has experienced more of the matches, and I think has a, a better understanding of uh, whatever. You know what I mean? He has taken Molina. Well, you know, if I would have... I, I don't know, to be honest with you. Rio has taken Molina on the road technically. That was at Evo. But the game has changed since then. It's a different version of the game. While Molina stays the same, the other characters have changed around her. Um, Death, I don't know how often Death has traveled. I don't know if he's left the East Coast. So in reality, there is no real Molina player outside of Pig or Rio that has taken her on the road, and it's a different game since then. So I don't think there is a Molina of the world or whatever, because none of them have taken that character on the road. I mean, you'd be amazed what theories people come up with that don't work that I've heard. You know, like, say you're Raiden, and you say teleport when Cyrex yeah. does a bomb. Um, yes. When you actually teleport when Cyrex does a bomb... You then realize that Cyrex moves first, and you're going to eat a command grab, and now you are in big trouble in Little China. You see what I'm saying? And if you try to get out of the command yeah. grab, you're dead. You know? But these are strategies that, you know, or um, what other strategies have I heard that are, like, absolutely ridiculous? Like, in theory strategies. There are so many in theory strategies that I've read on the boards that are great in theory, but then when you take them, take them out places, they don't work. You know, like... Uh, myself and uh, PL, when I was in Ohio, we put together, we put to the test a lot of in theory strategies, and some of them work, and some of them were like, no, it doesn't work, absolutely not, you know. And like smoke, when a lot of people were saying smoke is the best, so we were kind of testing like smoke's ability to win if you really lame him out, especially when you get the life lead. And we were like, dude, this is really difficult for smoke, and it's kind of a generic strategy, you know what I mean? So we were like, there's no way smoke can be the best, but. Until you kind of take these strategies on the road long term, there's really no way you possibly can know that. So uh, tournaments like Evo in final round, like going back to what PL was saying, are a big deal because this is a lot of people have to leave their comfort zone. I guess what he's saying is tournaments like NEC, these players don't have to leave their comfort zone. So, But when you have to go to a final round or an Evo kind of like type tournament, you're leaving your comfort zone. You're playing other players from around the country, possibly around the world, and you're no longer playing the same people you're playing every day, or, or, or you're actually putting your in theory strategies to the test for the first time. So that would make these tournaments more major. And it, it also goes back to the fact that this is how you know that a lot of these theories that I read on the boards are, are totally false. You got Baraka players saying Baraka beats Sub Zero. You got, um, uh, you know, just all kind of. Ca I, I read some of the matchup charts; they're absolutely ridiculous. You know, and like the reason why PL says Cabal is overrated is because if you look at Cabal's matchup charts on like some of these boards, they have Cabal like beating half of the characters in the game seven three or eight two. And while I don't feel like the way I look at Cabal, he's overrated. I feel like if you look at the way everyone else tends to look at him, you would have to say he is. So I know a lot of people were blowing up when PL said Cabal's overrated, but it's only because when you look at it, if you were to sit there and tell someone, oh, Cabal beats everyone in the game, 6 4, 7 3, he's, you know, whatever, then you got to say, dude, you're overrating the character. So a lot of people are really overrating things, you know, or underrating things, and you don't really find this out until you actually leave your local area.
Tom, you cut off. I can't hear anything. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you okay. now. You got any more questions? Um, what kind of a broadcast journalist are you, 16-bit? I, I can't think of these hard-hitting questions. I mean, i got to think. I didn't know I was going to be on. You're supposed to be the no-nonsense, hard-nosed guy. You're going to get the truth. You're going to ask.